What's up guys, your girl Luca here, and I have some awesome news for you. Earlier today, we learned that Xbox Live would be increasing in price, going from $59.99 every 12 months to $59.99 every six months. To say I was annoyed is a bit of an understatement. I was actually really pissed. But to my shock, a lot of other people were too, and actively and eagerly stood up and expressed their discontent for this move. Something I've noticed being in the gaming space and in the gaming community is that the gaming community is the only consumer base where I see consumers cucking for corporations. So to have a lot of prominent people in the community stand up and let this corporation know that this is not okay is absolutely amazing. And it actually paid off guys. Now I did a video on the full story. I'll link it in the description box below. But right now I'm going to discuss the updated blog post. This is what Xbox Wire had to say. We messed up today and you are right to let us know. Connecting and playing with friends is a vital part of gaming and we fail to meet the expectations of players who count on it every day. As a result, we have decided not to change Xbox Live Gold pricing. We're turning this moment into an opportunity to bring Xbox Live more in line with how we see the player at the center of their experience. For free-to-play games, you will no longer need an Xbox Live Gold membership to play those games on Xbox. We are working hard to deliver this change as soon as possible in the coming months. If you are an Xbox Live Gold member already, you stay at your current price for renewal. New and existing members can continue to enjoy Xbox Live Gold for the same price as they pay today. $9.99 for one month, $24. $4.99 for three months, $39.99 for six months, and $59.99 for retail 12 months. Thank you. And you know what, Microsoft? Thank you is what I want to say, right? But you guys knew what you were doing. Anyone with a brain could see that this was a bad idea. But no, no, you guys really thought you would just go ahead and pull some cuckery and everyone would just be okay with it, huh? And the fact that they pulled it back so quickly. Mm. I guess they expected their staunch Xbox supporters to pull out their cucking cards and just really go to town today. And when that turned out not to be the case, they pulled a 180 and walked everything back. And this is honestly the best, one of the best things to have happened in the gaming space. Just like the Cyberpunk 2077 situation, I am so proud to be a part of this community. A community that for so long has let these corporations get away with tomfoolery, that has accepted broken games and broken products, pretty words, and 50 gig patches, and promises that we'll fix it later, and I promise we'll do better, and so much other bullshit. Finally, we are taking a stand together. Hey, yo, as soon as we got those 60 frames on consoles, it's like our eyes were opened. It was like a shot of adrenaline, like a, oh my goodness, this is what I've been missing out on? Finally taking a page out of PC gamers books and speaking up when corporations try to cuck us? Honestly? This is awesome. So much and so often, we are just kind of like, there's nothing that we can do. The truth of the matter is, maybe as an individual, you think you can't do anything, but if you're someone who has a platform, no matter how small, no matter how small, I might be too. Taking time to speak your truth and be honest is the right thing to do. And I think this will serve as a lesson for a lot of people that if we just come together, we can actually accomplish things. I'm proud of us guys, you should be proud too. And you should never be afraid of speaking up. We are the consumers, we have the right to say something when a corporation does stuff like this. Let's keep that in mind for next time, eh? All right, that's it for me. I'll catch y'all later. Please like, share, subscribe, and more importantly, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Peace.